So, chicken fried steak. Is it chicken? Is it steak? Today, we're gonna find out. <laughs> clicked on a vegan chicken fried steak video. So it's neither steak nor chicken. <laughs> no, honestly guys, today I wanna to show you guys how to make a vegan version of a chicken fried steak that's actually super easy to put together using some of my favorite ingredients and some techniques we reuse constantly on the channel, which just goes to show that vegan cooking is just as easy as normie cooking. Just, you know, doing a great thing for the environment and the animals. Today's video, I wanted to make things super easy for you guys and show you how, you know, we can sit around and like make our own homemade like faux meats or seitans, that sort of thing, which can take hours, or we can go to the store and pick something up like this Gusta seitan loaf. Gusta is sponsoring today's video, which is amazing because they are a Canadian company. They just want vegan food to be accessible and delicious to everyone. So thank you so much to Gusta for sponsoring today's video. If you are new here, I'm Candice the Edgy Veg. Hello, bonjour, buongiorno. Make sure that you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on new videos twice a week, every Tuesday and Thursday at 4 p.m. If you like this type of videos, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and let me know in the comment section below what other recipes you guys wanna see on this channel. All right, without further ado, let's get into chicken fried steak. So what is chicken fried steak? Chicken fried steak is a steak that is breaded and battered and fried, served with a country gravy and whatever vegetables you want on the side. Now, what is the difference between a chicken fried steak and a country fried steak? A country fried steak is traditionally just breaded and then served with onions and a brown gravy, whereas chicken fried steak is served with a nice creamy country gravy and it is usually like breaded with some egg mixture. But because we're vegan, I'm gonna show you some ways that you can do an easy breading without a lot of work. That's enough of that, let's get into cooking. So you can make your own seitan at home. I do it all the time. But to make this recipe super easy and for those days that you just don't have, you know, prepped seitan or don't wanna do the work, I have the Gusta Seitan Roast in Classico favor. Favor? Classico flavor, which is nice because it's just, it, it's perfectly seasoned. It's not neutral in the fact that it doesn't have any flavor. It has tons of flavor, but it's not like spicy or any kind of specific type of spice. So it really doubles well. In steak, you can slice it to put on sandwiches. You can use it like a steak. I'm going to slice this guy into little steak, like slices, really rough. I mean, as long as they're like somewhat uniform, it's fine. If you do find that they are too thick, you can always beat them with a mallet. They are a little bit smaller than a normal steak, so I would serve like two a person. The first thing I'm going to do is make the breading. I'm gonna wash my hands because I just manhandled that, and we're gonna come back to this breading in a second. The chicken batter portion or breading is really the same type of like dredging batter that you would use for normal fried chicken. That's why it's called chicken fried steak because we are frying a steak the same method that you would normally chicken. So we're starting with just flour. I just have two cups here. To that, I am going to add onion, garlic, onion, garlic, onion, salt, <laughs> garlic powder, paprika, pepper. So all the normal seasonings that you would use regular salt in any sort of kind of chicken breading. But for this, you want it to be a little bit spicy. So some people use Tabasco for this and some people use cayenne. I decided to use cayenne. And then to make it nice and crispy, we are using equal parts baking soda and baking powder. So that little addition will just make it really nice and crispy, which is exactly how you want chicken. It's always the best when it's crispy and not soggy. And that has to do with what you're using for like in the breading and also how you're frying it. So one tip I'll say for frying is that you only want to turn this once. The more you like turn it around in a pan, the more soggy it will be when you take it out. For the like liquid part, the egg replacer part, I'm going to whisk aquafaba. So this is two eggs worth of aquafaba. So that's roughly six tablespoons and half a cup of unsweetened soy milk. I'm just gonna pour that in there. And that's going to make your binder. I mean, obviously you can use whatever plant-based milk you want. I just find that unsweetened soy milk is the most stable when it comes to cooking. So it has a lot of protein in it. So it will act more like eggs than if you were to use like a, an almond milk, which is really thin. And it just, it's a lot easier to work with. I'm going to pour it into the shallow dish so that I can cover 
each piece of seitan completely. All right, we have our elements here for our dredging. Wonderful. What I'm going to do is take each piece and really press it into the flour. Also, at this, before you even do this, if you really want to, you can season the steak with salt and pepper, but I really like the spices that they use in this, so I don't think I need to add any extra. Then I'm gonna to toss it into the soy milk mixture and putting it back into the flour mixture and really pressing the flour onto that, shaking off any excess and placing it to rest for 10 minutes. And repeat with all of your Gusta seitan slices. All right, so obviously if you have a deep fryer, use that, it's easy and it self-regulates. But if you don't, just use a cast iron pan and a lot of oil and just put your seitan steak into the oil. I like to spoon some of the oil over top. Cook that for two minutes. All right, I have a quarter cup of vegan friendly butter here. I'm just going to whisk in about three tablespoons of flour and then some garlic powder. We are going to cook this whisking constantly for like five minutes. Right now you want to very slowly whisk in the milk. Because you usually do this with the drippings from your steak or your chicken, I'm going to use these no beef bouillon cubes. So I'm just going to use one cube. So I'm just going to crumple it in rather quickly and then continue whisking. You wanna keep whisking and keep adding the rest of your milk and then cook it until it's a nice brown color. There we have our delicious, creamy country gravy, lots of pepper. So again, depending on whatever thickness you want, that'll depend on what yours looks like. This is the perfect consistency for what I like. All right, let's assemble this. So I like to serve it with mashed potatoes and green beans. So I like to put a couple up some mashed potatoes. And I know that mashed potatoes are like a pretty basic thing, but do you know how many bad mashed potatoes I've had in my life, especially vegan ones, because people don't know how to veganize mashed potatoes. So I've been working on some pretty bomb mashed potato content for you guys. So wait for that video. Ooh, ah. And then of course, the coveted country gravy. Ooh, ah. All right, friends, here we have our beautiful chicken fried steak dinner. Oh my God, it looks so good. I'm going to dig in. It, this is actually a really nice like holiday themed dinner. If you're looking for something for like Easter dinner or Thanksgiving, or Christmas, or whatever you celebrate. It has all the fun elements that you would need for that type of dinner, but vegan. Mm. Mm. And it's so nice and easy to throw together with that Gusta seitan. Oh my goodness. It's so delicious. I'm obsessed. All right, guys. I'm so excited that I got to share one of my favorite ways to use the Gusta seitan with you. Let me know in the comment section below what kind of recipes you want to see next and how you use seitan and transform it to make it into something else. And if you are interested in learning more about Gusta, which I highly suggest that you do, they have an amazing variety of products from like plant-based meats to awesome cheeses that melt perfectly. I'll leave a link to them and their products in the description box below so that you can check them out. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. If you love this recipe as much as I do, give this video a big thumbs up and I'll see you next time. Bye.